Peggy 18. Welcome to Battlefield Boot Camp. This week we take a look at the Battlefield 4 beta as Jack Frags plays Conquest on the Siege of Shanghai map. So, prepare yourselves for Amphibious Assault and that Levolution moment. So I've jumped into a game here, the round's just about started and as you can see here we're playing Conquest and there's the lovely TV tower in Shanghai and yes, as I'm sure you are all aware, you can actually bring that down. Also, a new feature in BF4 you can properly swim about now and you can even go underwater. Look at that. Beautiful. So if someone's got you locked down, you can take some cover, dive under the water, no problem. A plus to that as well, you can now get your secondary weapon out whilst you're in the water, so no more awkward flapping around like there was in Battlefield 3. You can actually defend yourself when you're swimming around in BF4. You can also do the front crawl here. I'm glad that I took swimming lessons when I was a kid, otherwise I think I'd be screwed. Now I think I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get up to the top of the tower. It does look like there's an enemy here though, so let's see if we can just take him out. Now at this sort of range, you definitely want to be burst firing your assault rifle. If you go in full auto then the recoil is going to kick up and you'll be all over the place. Looks like I've found myself an enemy tank here. I'm actually using the XM25 now. This is the new support gadget, or one of the new support gadgets anyway. And it's like uh, an explosive grenade launcher. You can actually do damage to vehicles with this. It's got a nice weapon sight there. I appear to have really annoyed this guy though. And he's not happy with me. So I'm just going to move back. That weapon is actually a lot more effective against infantry rather than vehicles. But you can use it against vehicles that you want. Bit of squad action here. I'm actually in a light armoured APC. There's a guy in the corner here about to get squashed. It's a nice road kill. And my squad mate is actually on the gun here. And he's going to take out this guy. Any second now. There we go. So nice bit of teamwork and coordination. I decide, you know what? I'm just going to drive this into the hotel lobby. Because when have you ever seen a light armoured vehicle in a hotel lobby? Only in Battlefield, guys. Got a nice angle here of the skyscraper falling down. I will show you later on in the video how you actually bring this down yourself, but just look at this. So gorgeous, the sun glare behind it. It's just an epic moment. And of course, after the skyscraper comes down, the point actually changes to all the rubble um, and a load of dust kicks up in the air. So if you're in a helicopter, it's a lot harder to see. So again, this is one of those levolution moments. Uh, before, it's nice and clear. When the skyscraper comes down, dust in the air, you can't see a thing. Okay, now this weapon I've picked up is the big 50 cal sniper rifle. You can't spawn with this, but it's what's called a battle pickup in the game. So there are several of these around. There's like a grenade launcher, a big rocket launcher, and there's also this 50 cal sniper rifle. You can pick them up. It's a one-hit kill, as you just saw, but you can't replace ammo for them, and you also can't spawn with it. So they're a valuable commodity on the battlefield, but very hard to get hold of. Grab myself a tank. Always like a bit of tank warfare one-on-one -on -one here it's gonna go down unfortunately this guy gets out and gets absolutely minced by my machine gun he never stood a chance don't really know why he got out there maybe he was scared uh, just gonna see if I can take out this tank right now I've noticed as well that the enemy team have our helicopter as well as their helicopter and they're just flying around just absolutely dominating us so I'm gonna see if I can actually pick one of these off now if you manage to hit a helicopter with a tank it's normally a one hit kill so it's very powerful but they are very hard to hit because they're so fast and they can also fly above you but on that occasion they actually just flew into each other and just did the job for me guys I mean I didn't even have to shoot them it was it was easy as that it's really quite embarrassing for them here I'm just demonstrating a little feature in the game this is sort of like contextual leaning or peeking so if you don't want to really expose much of your body and you know there's an enemy around you can just go up to some cover hold the left trigger and you'll actually peek over that cover and you can peek left and right as well if you want to do that on that occasion I actually peeked over the top of the cover and managed to get that kill so now I'm just going to demonstrate how you actually take down the skyscraper yourself if you want to do it like this isn't a scripted event like the Caspian border tower for example in Battlefield 3 you actually do this yourself so at the bottom of the tower are these four support pillars and you got to take them out one by one now you can do this with any sort of explosives so like a tank an RPG C4 
and they don't just take one shot to destroy you've got to take like three or four shots to get these things destroyed move around make sure you get a nice angle and eventually you'll start hearing a loud creaking noise and a alarm going off and that means that the building is about to go down get yourself ready for this as you can see now the bottom actually explodes and the TV screen on the tower sort of gradually turns off and malfunctions it just looks so cool and the, this is like the first stage of the building falling down I'm just gonna get out of the tank so I can give you guys a better view of what it looks like there's the first part and it's absolutely been ruined it's crumbled the sea level rises and there we go there's a new point on the map that is an amazing evolution moment right there <laughs> I absolutely love that the fact that you can do it yourself as well it's not just scripted it doesn't always fall down it's just it's just brilliant and that was Jack Frag's take on Conquest join us next time when we'll be playing Domination on the Siege of Shanghai map and don't forget you guys can get involved yourself by downloading the beta from Xbox Live PlayStation Network or Origin we'll see you next time